Hello, good afternoon. I am Shanika from Polvaya Pottery. Here it is um, our Chromati 135 um, electric pottery kiln which has been just delivered from our engineers and it's been fully reconditioned as in full service and uh, check everything is working uh, and pet test and the lid attached as you can see the lid is sitting up on the hinge and um, tested to see if it is working and it is um, given a full service uh, a new controller fitted as in um, my own controller this was um, this kiln this one this is the certificate to our engineer notes um, kiln is in very good condition in fact this kiln has never been fired it was confirmed by our engineer it's never been fired so um, you are getting virtually a brand new kiln uh, made by chromati hobby tech in stock on trend so i'm just going to have to leave my certificate right here it has been done on the 11th of uh, february 2022 just um, last week last uh, thursday i think it was collected last wednesday so it was done last thursday or friday something like that uh, so there is the controller this controller was my own personal one which i used for my um, uh, hobby tech 40 liter kiln uh, plug-in kiln uh, it had uh, different configurations of sockets plug like a heart in socket but this one was a zone controller so we had to we had to put normal heart in socket we had to buy this one there and this will plug straight into the kiln now and this controller has five programs and um, ramps and things you can um, control heating cool control cooling etc and it's a fully working controller i have been using it for about two years something like that um, absolutely working fine it has five programs I have another video of uh, how to use this controller because I, I did take a video before um, I unplugged it from my kiln because I knew that I, I will not be able to plug it in again once it is done because my kiln has this configuration so this one this one will not get go into my kiln now you see so um, there is the kiln controller and the, there is the certificate uh, which you will receive when you buy the kiln and um, my engineer also confirmed that this kiln has never ever been fired in its life it was purchased in 2003 that was the also the year of manufacture what did I step on uh, this is the fume extractor um, this is the only um, available vent plug you have to get rid of all the fumes so you might need to put an extractor which is not provided by the way or you you might as well leave it because the the fumes will come out of this hole and this has had um, all the jacket taken off and um, the clamps tightened as you can see all the bricks are all in level and uh, there was a little bit of crumble crumbling due to moving all has been uh, re-cemented and the elements are all brand new so you will need to season this kiln to 1100 degrees celsius and um, as as with all chromatic work horses this kiln also has vermiculite on the bottom of the kiln so you will need to put a shelf large shelf to um, before you put any wares on it and um, the bricks that had uh, been moving up slightly cracked have been repaired i did see some yeah there we are uh, our engineer repaired them if you can see there secured with the pins as you can see there as you can see there was a crack here due to being moved can you see my hand oh, I can't. Ah, there there as you can see there is a pin so we secured it with the with pins element pins i have decided to sell this one as well um, because my my uh, studio is not ready yet it's not even done or not nothing nothing is happening for the moment so i uh, i decided to sell my kiln which i bought for myself it's absolutely beautiful it's brand new it's never been used 
uh, there is the cable so it's a it's not a three phase it's single phase 240 volts uh, earth live and neutral okay 240 volts you must have at least 40 amps as the certificate says 40 amps must be a thing you know you it is very very important you have enough power to power this kiln because otherwise it will not work maximum temperature 1300 degrees celsius this is the patest sticker certificate and uh, 135 liter workhorse manufactured 1 2003 volt sorry or 240 one phase one three or oh, neutral or oh, single nine kilowatt maximum temperature one thousand three hundred my phone is not getting um, focused focus please this is the lead switch there it should cut off the power this will cut off the power when the kiln lid is open like this you see when it shuts it will be uh, staying uh, loose so um, so I will close the li lid now very slowly you must do it very carefully because if you slam it you are going to crush the kiln as well as the the lid because lid is very heavy so you need to release here oh it's super heavy that is it there have been few um, superficial scratches being being moved due, due to being moved there we are it's it's just a surface scratch really nothing to worry about or nothing to um uh, it will not affect the performance of the kiln at all there are the clamps all been tightened this is the only spot i can see where there is very slight um, surface rust it's also not going to affect the performance of the kiln. This has been tested, obviously not to 1,300 degrees Celsius. You will need to um, you will need to in fact um, fire it slowly, maybe uh, 300 degrees first, and then another few hundred degrees first before you season it fully because this has been sitting here for some time, so it's wet. Could be damp. It's in a damp. I mean, it's it's not that that damp. Things don't go um go mold in this garage. As you can see, it's absolutely full of things. My clay and my, oh dear, lot of things. My wheels, lot of things. Right, um, what else do I need to show? These are the clamps which have all been tightened. So there is nothing you need to do now at all other than just wiring it in and um, slowly um, drying it out a little by little couple of times three times maybe and then um, fire it to 1100 degrees to season the elements empty you need to fire the kiln empty and this is where the controller connects lift this plug the controller in and then um, secure and that's it in fact i will let you i will show you in fact i can't plug this kiln in unfortunately because i haven't got the power supply if i did have the power i will not be selling this This controller can be uh, wall mounted, so make sure you mount it on the wall like this, and then um, then you can. It's easy to use. So never ever use um, use the kiln lid to mount your your controller. Don't leave, don't leave it like this at all. If if you do, it will melt into the kiln lid, and uh, that's it. That's it. So. Right, how does it go now then? Lift this up. Oh yeah. I'm doing it with one hand, so it's not very easy. Oops, that's it. Can you see now? Put it that way. That's it. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. That is it. Oh, I see. That goes that way. You see? It goes like this. Oh, it's clever. And then the control is plugged in and then uh, just wall mount it like this and um, and it's, it's good it's good to go this control is my own control i really like this one because it's uh, it's very reliable and it has a s, s thermocouple this control is capable of um, using up to 1320 because i i have a kiln and uh, this is from my kit kiln very very reliable controller Wow, look at this wind. So, I will not be leaving this plugged in. I will take it home with me. And uh, when you come to collect, I will be bringing this, it back home here. Back to my garage. Anyway, so when you come to collect, please make sure you bring a transporter uh, with a massive plank. Uh, because you will need one or enough manpower to, to pick it up pick it up from here to, the, to your van. Uh, or otherwise you will need a plank and roll it. Up the plank to your van it has it has caster so it's easy to move that's what we just did today and last time when we when he picked it up as you can see it has large casters heavy duty ones so it's easy to move around there will be some looking ones as well so um, I'm going to pause the video now if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me um, this will go live soon on eBay It's raining as well now. I could go home. <laughs> there we are. Controller. I hope everything is clear and there is the certificate. Mm, our engineer's uh, signature. And if you want to contact me, you can do via youtube ebay or instagram or facebook wherever i'm all i'm everywhere <laughs> thank you very much bye bye for now see you again